And despite some companies adding workers' challenges in downtown Minneapolis, well, it's because people are still working from home. And comments this week about getting people back downtown from Mayor Jacob Fry involving the word losers. Mm -hmm. Well, that's getting a lot of attention on social media. Brittany Ehrman got a response from the mayor and has a look at different ways to bring people back downtown. You're bringing your employees back. Comments from Mayor Jacob Fry at a downtown council luncheon are drawing backlash. I don't know if you saw this study the other day. The mayor had a message for those working from home. When they stay home, sitting on their couch with their nasty cat blanket diddling on their laptop, if they do that for a few months, you become a loser. People took to social media calling out the mayor's comments. On Thursday afternoon, Fry called it a joke. People in the room took it as a joke. When it gets taken out of context uh, in a social media post, things can run wild. He says this was his intention. Look, my goal as mayor, a responsibility that I have is to bring people back downtown. The downtown council says employees coming back to work is not the whole solution, but it's part of it. They're really important. They're a huge part of the fabric of downtown today. Council data shows 65% of workers are in the office in some capacity each week. I think that we're always going to have challenges downtown. I think the fact is, is that it's about how we meet those challenges. The downtown council president says they plan to shift part of their focus to living spaces by turning commercial properties into residential buildings that appeal to the older population and families. The geographic footprint of downtown is big enough. We can accommodate all these. Things. We can have more people living here. We definitely always want people doing their entertainment nightlife here. And we have the commercial space for more job growth here, too. These forward-looking ideas are all a part of the 2035 strategic plan. We'll get more details on what that plan looks like in this spring. Live in Minneapolis, Brittany Ehrman, 5 by Witness News.